The author of these impressive images is Spaniard Daniel Ibáñez. At 28 years old, he's become the youngest photographer accredited with the Vatican. I was nervous at first, like anyone else. Then it becomes automatic. Taking photographs becomes routine. Sure, there are moments where you're nervous that you might miss the photo or a certain moment. But in the end, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility he acquired at an early age. For his first communion, he received a camera, and he soon became the photo kid at home, at school, and special events. Now Daniel works for EWTN Catholic News Agency, the platform from which he's been able to photograph the Pope thousands of times. He knows the pontiff's gestures very well and can even interpret his mood. He says Pope Francis' gaze is one of the things that most moves him. When he celebrates the Eucharist, when he celebrates the sacraments, Vespers or another ceremony, he's a different Pope. He's a different, very serious person. When he's in St. Peter's Square, though, he's a Pope for others. He's a cheerful, animated, joking Pope, always with a smile. That's something else I try to transmit. His photography style has brought freshness to the Vatican. His main subject is the Pope's gaze, and his objective is always to recount something different. I don't think I've taken it yet. There are photos that are nice, but I think the best photo will come tomorrow, not today. This also helps me. I think a photographer is always a very demanding person. As a photographer, he's witnessed unique moments, meetings with heads of state, protocol events, papal trips, and dozens of religious ceremonies. Among these, one of the most special was this year's Holy Week. Daniel was one of the few people present in St. Peter's Basilica for the liturgies that took place behind closed doors because of the pandemic. In total, there were probably around 40 people in St. Peter's. I was shocked by the emptiness of the basilica, which is always full of noise, tourists, people asking others to be respectful, where so many people enter every day. More importantly though, the story doesn't end there. Many people were following the celebration from home, and all I could feel was gratitude. Gratitude, professionalism, and a good sense of humor are three of the characteristics of the youngest photographer in the Vatican. With his pioneering spirit and his desire to improve each day, Daniel Ibáñez is yet another example of what it means to never give up on a dream.